In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create Game of Thrones flat design illustration. To draw Daenerys Targaryen with Dragon Fun Art, we will use Shape Builder tool, Scissors tool, Blend tool and Reflect tool. But two main tools for today are Direct Selection tool to edit anchor points and Pen tool to create any kinds of shapes. After this tutorial, you will use them like a pro, so let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation and click Create. You can download the sketch by the link in the video description, just rename layer number 1 to sketch, place it like so and lock it. Then create new layer. We will begin with drawing Khaleesi, so I will rename this layer accordingly. Select Fill icon here, click on None, press P for Pen tool. Let's begin from this point. Now hold Alt and drag handle like this. Then release Alt and left mouse button and create another point like so. Just drag it and hold Shift. Then hold Alt again. Then connect these points. Properties panel. Click on Stroke. And in this artwork we will need Round Cap and Round Join. To navigate through your workspace just hold Space. Navigate and continue drawing. Press V for Selection tool. Deselect this line, P for Pen tool again. Just drag your mouse to make smooth line. Now you can hold Alt, move your handle like so. Then drag your mouse here and simply click here. Then hold Alt again, move handle like so. I will zoom out just a bit, P for Pen tool again. And after you did this, you can't continue with this line, so Ctrl Z to undo. With Pen tool selected, click on this anchor point again, hold Alt, move handle again like so, then just draw a line like this. V for selection tool, deselect it, select all these parts, press O for reflect tool, hold Alt, and click on some of these points. Click on Preview, choose vertical reflection. And click on copy. Let's zoom out right here. P for pen tool again. Start to build line from this point. If you want ideal symmetry, I will delete this line. Just create line like so. Follow smart guides. Hold shift to build straight line like this. V for selection tool. Deselect this line. Select it again. O for reflect tool. Hold Alt and click on this point. Click on Copy. Now A for Direct Selection tool. Select both points and in Properties panel select Connect Selected Endpoints. Now this is one point. You can move it like so. Let's create another line here. Let's do it the same way. Just deselect it now. Select it again. O for Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Copy. Deselect this object, A for Direct Selection tool. Select these central points and connect them. P for Pen tool and just draw a line like this. V for Selection tool. To manipulate handles, A for Direct Selection tool and just move them like so. Now press L for Ellipse tool. Build oval like this. Just don't worry about alignment, just draw it, then V for Selection tool and use Smart Guys to center it, like so. Place it here, A for Direct Selection tool, pick these two points and move them up just a bit. Now select this one and move it down. Deselect this object, Pen tool, start to build line from here, then click here. Then A for Direct Selection tool and manipulate this point. Now deselect this object, V for Selection tool, select it again, O for Reflect tool, hold Alt and click on this point. Click on Copy and after you make a reflected copy of any object in this scene, you can use this feature, Start Global Edit. Just select any part you want and if you have reflection on the other side, click here. Start Global Edit. This is a great feature. If you will apply any corrections 
it will be automatically applied on other side. Notice that sides should be ideally symmetrical, because this feature won't work. After you deselect the subject, this feature is not active anymore. And if you would like to decide to change anything more, select this object for example, start global edit, and just apply changes. So I will edit this one a little bit more, start global edit, I will play with handles just a bit. Pick these points and click here to convert selected anchor points to smooth. Now drag this handle like this and hold shift. To make sure that you have smooth line in this part, let's just drag it like so. Zoom in to check if this line is really smooth. Deselect this object, pen tool, just draw lines like this. Deselect object, pen tool again, draw another line. To draw this curved part, you don't need to follow these lines with pen tool. Let's just create a line, hold shift, V for selection tool, effect, distort and transform, and select zigzag. Click on preview, select smooth points, play with these values. I will use these values. OK. Now click on Object. Expand Appearance. Move this part here. Duplicate it. A for Direct Selection tool. Pick this point and just move it a bit like this. Then pick this point and connect it with this one. I will move these points closer just a bit. Let's draw another line with Pen tool right here. O for Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. If you have similar result, click on Cancel. Deselect this line. Select it again. And then repeat. O for Reflect tool. Hold Alt. Click on this point. Copy. Now let's use Scissors tool. Just pick object that you want to cut. C for Scissors tool. Let's cut it right here. When this line ends. And then click here. Then select this object and delete it. Select this one, C for scissors tool, and click right here. Then pick this part and delete it also. I will change proportions here a bit, like so. Pick this object again and cut it. Let's cut this part also. Pick this part and delete it. Now if you have such parts like this, A for Direct Selection tool, I will remind you that you can use Global Edit, just pick this line for example, start Global Edit, C for Scissors tool, cut this line here, and then cut it here. Then pick this part and delete it. Let's do the same with this line. And you might notice that this is one line. We need to cut it right here, but we can't do this, because first of all we need to separate this line, C for scissors tool, and click here. Now we have line that we can cut, so cut it like so. Delete this part, select this part, O for reflect tool, hold alt, click on this point, copy, and just cut all these objects like we already did. Let's group all these lines, just select them all and press Ctrl G. Create new layer, rename it to Dragon, and let's just start with base shapes. Pen tool. Don't build too many points. Now simply click here, drag this point like so, hold Alt, drag this handle here. I will zoom in, P for pen tool. I will remind you that after you are zooming in or zooming out, you can't just continue to build line. You need to click on this anchor point and then continue. Just build base shape and we will fix all these moments right after that. Hold Alt. Drag it like this. As you can see, I have only 
three points in this line, we don't need more. If you will create more points, for example, you will always be able to delete them. That's not a big deal. You can create point like so, then hold Alt and simply drag handle. Then V for selection tool and deselect it. Build point like so, hold Alt and drag handle. Let's continue with other elements. Drag anchor point like this. Build another one here. Then simply click here, hold Alt, drag handle like this. Drag point here and here. Now basically the same with these ones. Hold Alt, drag point like so. If you want to change something, A for direct selection tool and drag handles. Now let's create this part. Start to build shape from this point. Now drag point here, hold Alt. Move this handle like so. Then with hold it Alt, just drag handle from this point here. Then drag line like this. Click here again, drag it, hold Alt, move this handle like so. The same here. Now I will show you once again what we did first time here. If you want to make this line softer, hold Alt, move this handle like this. Then this handle disappeared. So just withhold it out, drag handle from this point like so. And draw a line. Now let's just simply create lines like this. And with these ones, Let's just create one element, duplicate it, rotate it like so, pick Blend tool, click on this one, then on this one, press Enter on your keyboard, Preview, Specified steps, enter any number here, and click on Preview again. So let's use three steps here, click OK. If you would like to change any proportions, A for Direct Selection tool, pick any point, just change it and other shapes will be changed automatically. You can even make one of these two smaller, like this for example. And these elements will be changed from big to smaller automatically also. Now if you want to move these elements, Object, Expand, OK, right click, Ungroup. Now you can move them. Then if you see that you have too many points, I see that I have unnecessary point here, for example, P for pen tool, and just click on this point. After this, A for direct selection tool, and drag handles like so. Now this line is much softer. If you see that you need to change something after that, just use direct selection tool. Like this. I think I will move these ones just a bit. Now let's do basically the same here. Blend tool, click on this one, then on this one, press enter, preview, specified steps, let's enter three again, ok, build straight line like so, deselect it, build line like this, A for direct selection tool if you want to move handles. Now let's build this shape. And to make sharp corner when you're connecting these points, I'll press Ctrl Z, hold Alt, and connect points. Because without hold it Alt, this line will be smoothed. If you've created smooth line, A for direct selection tool, hold Alt, and move points like so. If you want to add more details here, P for pen tool, add point, A for direct selection tool, and move it. Let's change proportions here, A for direct selection tool, and move these handles. Now you can simply redraw these elements from sketch, like so, but I think I will use blend tool again. Blend tool, click on each one of them, enter, preview, specified steps, ok, 
Object, Expand. Right click, Ungroup, just move this once as you want, then duplicate this layer, Properties panel, click here on Flip along vertical axis, rotate it like this, place it here, make a copy, let's use Blend tool again. Let's create all these elements just as we already did. Now with these ones, duplicate this layer here, press Ctrl D, then move this layer down, rotate it like so, move this layer down like this, rotate it even more, pick each one of them with Blend tool, press Enter, and I will apply three steps here. Now, as you can see, we have this line here. You can press Ctrl Y. We just enter it outline mode, P for pen tool, hold Alt, and just change this curve like so. The same here, hold Alt, and change it. Now press Ctrl Y to see what we just did. Pick any part you want, see for scissors tool, and cut it. Let's do the same with this line. Pick all unnecessary parts and delete them. Let's do the same here. To cut parts, you can also use Shape Builder. It's very handy. Just select all these objects, for example. Shift plus M for Shape Builder. Hold Alt and delete unnecessary parts. But in this case, this will not work for us because we need to make cuts in other way. So just let's select these elements, Shift plus M. Now pick all these elements, pick this line, Shift plus M or Scissors tool if you want to. And sometimes Shape Builder just doesn't work. That means that you need to overlap these lines, like so. So let's just select this group again, this line again, Shift plus M, and delete unnecessary parts. Let's delete these ones. Now let's build castle. Just hold Shift to build straight lines. Let's stop right here, deselect this object, create another one, like so. Just don't connect these points. A for direct selection tool, select these two points, move them here to match these points, then hold Alt, duplicate this one like so, so this point would match, select this copy and press Ctrl D a couple of times. Now you can select them all, change their proportions like this, then duplicate them, flip along horizontal axis, move them here and change their proportions like this. Let's create rectangle just to match these proportions. Move it here. Hold shift while you're doing this. Then select all these objects. O for reflect tool. Hold alt and click on the center of this rectangle. Copy. Now delete unnecessary parts here. C for scissors tool. The same with this rectangle. Let's just create line here, like so, A for direct selection tool, and match these points. We did this to make separate line and not to connect it with these objects. Select these ones, duplicate them here. With direct selection tool you can move this line like so. Let's continue, hold shift to build straight line, release it to make line like this, hold shift. Now A for direct selection tool, pick this point, delete it. Pick this one and just drag it here. Deselect this object. Duplicate this one like this. Then press Ctrl D a couple of times. Just select these objects and change them like so. Let's create line like this. A for direct selection tool. Move this point here. And in case if you forgot to create another layer for another object, 
Create new layer. Let's rename it to Castle. Right click on these selected layers. Arrange. Send to current layer. This layer should be selected. And this layer should be targeted. Now let's group this castle layer. Let's group dragon layer also. Double click on this group layer. Create lines like this. Let's create new layer for rocks or mountain. And simply create lines according to reference. Like this. Create these lines just a little bit far from this dragon. Because they won't look good if you will build them like this. Just keep them away a bit. These lines should be sharp, no smooth lines. If you want to move a couple of points, just pick Direct Selection tool, select them like so, and move them. If you don't want to connect points, just create them like this, then pick A for Direct Selection tool, and move point like so. Target this layer, Ctrl G to group, create new layer, rename it to Clouds, L for Ellipse tool, and just build ellipses like so. To be able to move ellipses while you still didn't draw them, just hold Shift, Space and left mouse button and don't release them. After you placed your ellipse as you want to, you can release space, play with proportions, and then release shift and left mouse button. You can simply duplicate ellipses also. Just place them according to reference, then select this group, shift plus M for shape builder, unite them like so, then C for scissors tool, and cut unnecessary parts. Like so. Let's do just exactly the same. Select this row, Shift plus M, unite it, cut this part, and delete it. Let's create final cloud. Target Cloud Layer, Ctrl G to group, unlock Sketch Layer, delete it, create new layer, rename it to Background, bring it down, click here to swap fill and stroke, double click on fill layer, draw rectangle like this, lock this layer, now select all these layers, you can play with stroke, if you see that 2 is too much for you, you can return to 1 point, and enter some custom value, like this for example. Press Enter. I think this will work for us very well. So let's just select all these layers, double click on this stroke color icon, and let's just pick gray color like this. So in conclusion I can say that when you're using Pen tool, make sure that you are not creating too many points, as less is better. Don't forget to hold Alt for sharp corners and grab Direct Selection tool to edit anchor points and handles directions. To draw this Game of Thrones fun art, we use Shape Builder, Scissors tool and Blend tool. And with two most powerful tools, Pen tool and Direct Selection tool, we've created almost each part of this illustration. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.